To South Korea now, and a film with a gripping off-screen story. Old cinema versus online. It's called Okja, and it was funded by Netflix, now cast as the bad guy by traditional movie theatres. Joseph Kim has the tale. It's one of the biggest films by a South Korean director this year. Okja! Okja! But it's getting a less than welcome reception. The movie is about a girl's quest to save her hybrid animal friend who's been kidnapped by a multinational conglomerate. Rescued Okja. I bring her back to you. Director Pung joon -ho has teamed up with Netflix for the film's simultaneous theatrical and online release. And the backlash to the idea of streaming a film while it's in theaters was first felt at the Cannes Film Festival, and now here in South Korea. With Okja, I expect various industry rules to be fine-tuned in regards to streaming movies and movies released in theatres. But before the rules and regulations, I think our movie arrived first, so there was a time delay. In Korea, if Okja can play the role of sparking to refine the rules and regulations in the future, I think that's a good thing. With its online release, Okja is troubling traditional theater companies that don't want to lose their exclusive early showing rights. South Korea's largest theaters are boycotting the film, calling it a disruption to the local market. Still, with growing anticipation and international stars like Tilda Swinson and Steven Yeun, the movie could be a harbinger for the industry. Um, well, I mean, the film is very independent from what's going on with all the optics around it. I, the film stands alone as a great achievement by director Bong. But I will say that, you know, we're in a new landscape right now, so we'll just see what happens. Despite a star-studded cast and a renowned director, Okja will receive a limited release in South Korea as well as the United States. And when asked about the pushback, Netflix responded, saying their aim is just to give fans more viewing options. As simple as it sounds, it's caused major controversy. Here in South Korea, Pung's project with Netflix is likely to have a profound impact on the industry. Typically, directors need the support of large theater chains, which own 90% of screens in the country, to succeed. And just as greed is one of the main motifs of Okja, the film's release has also become all about the money. Joseph Kim, VUE TV News, Seoul.